in the last two lectures we have completed DC and AC resistance of a diode in this lecture I will explain average AC resistance when input is large it produces a broad swing as you can see in this figure when input voltage is large it produces a broad swing in the characteristics and the resistance in this region is called as average AC resistance so whenever you have to calculate the resistance of a diode in this region you have to use the formula for average AC resistance first I will define what is average AC resistance then we will calculate it the average AC resistance is the resistance determined by a straight line drawn between the two intersections obtained by the maximum and the minimum values of input voltage so this is how we have to calculate the average AC resistance we need the maximum and minimum values of input voltage and by using these values we will have two intersections and when we connect these two intersections we will have the straight line representing the average AC resistance the average AC resistance is denoted by R subscript AV where AV is for average and it is equal to del V subscript D by del I D I will explain how we can calculate del VD and del ID by using this plot let's say the minimum voltage the minimum voltage is equal to 0 0.650 volts and the maximum voltage is equal to 0 0.725 volts we can easily locate these values we can easily locate these values in this plot this is 0 0.650 and when you extend it like this you will have one point and uh, you can easily obtain the corresponding current like this in the same way this is 0 0.725 and when you extend it you will have another point the second point and uh, the corresponding current and by connecting these two points by connecting these two points we have a straight line and this straight line represents the average AC resistance let's try to find out the value of average AC resistance the minimum voltage is 0 0.650 and uh, when this is the voltage the current is 2 milliamps the current ID minimum is equal to 2 milliamps and when voltage is 0 0.725 volts it means this voltage the corresponding current is 17 milliamps so ID max is equal to 17 milliamps now we have everything to calculate the average AC resistance first we will calculate Delta VD Delta VD is equal to 0 0.725 volts minus 0 0.650 volts and uh, this is equal to 0 0.075 volts now I will calculate Delta ID Delta I D is equal to 17 milliamps minus 2 milliamps and this is equal to 15 milliamps so the average AC resistance the average AC resistance is equal to 0 0.075 volts the value of Delta VD divided by 15 milliamps value of Delta ID 15 milliamps and when you solve this it is equal to 5 ohms so 5 ohms is the value of average AC resistance and when you try to calculate when you try to calculate the AC resistance of diode RD when VD is equal to 0 0.65 volts it means at this point it is greater than 5 ohms the average AC resistance and when you try to calculate the AC resistance when VD is equal to 0 0.725 volts it means at this point the resistance the AC resistance is smaller than 5 ohms the average AC resistance is the average of AC values from 2 milliamps to 17 milliamps the average AC resistance is the average of AC values average of AC values from 2 milliamps to 17 milliamps 
and it is good to use only one resistance value in calculations so we use average AC resistance in this case this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section see you in the next one